Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Gutenberg block development series. In today's video, we are going to learn about attributes. So what is attributes in block development? You should consider attributes as a kind of state in React. By the way, guys, if you don't have a deep knowledge of JavaScript and React, I guess you should learn React and JavaScript first and have a solid knowledge about that and then move on to learning Gutenberg block development. OK, so let's get started and see what we can do with attributes. I guess you already saw a couple of attributes here and but we didn't talk about this at all. So in today's video, we are going to cover all of this and see what's going on under the hood with attributes. So let's get started. First of all, to simplify a couple of things, I am going to delete, maybe uh, delete bootstrap folder completely and delete this one as well. We only want, we only want to have one block right now in order to simplify everything okay we just have a block.json file which we already talked about the first part should that that is and we are going to talk about attributes okay so let's save this and uh, by the way guys remember you should always uh, run the command npm run start which if you don't do that, uh, you would not get the latest results in your browser. So I am going to refresh my browser and let's check it out if everything's work as expected. So why the build is not working? I guess I should cancel this one. Control C and NPM run a start one more time. All right, so now let's check it out again. Yeah, that now it's working. Sometimes we should cancel and run the command one more time. All right, guys, so let's get back in here and see here I have only one block. I am going to remove this and this is my test block right now and let's turn off this okay so if i am going to get back here i have two attributes i also want to simplify everything in here so i am going to let's see what we can do i am going to remove all of this for now this one as well and this one as well we didn't talk about any of this yet but we are going to talk about them okay so let's simplify everything and this one this one this one as well maybe even this one and even this one even no, not that one, even this one and even this one. Okay, we just have maybe even this one. Yeah, why not? Simplify everything. Okay, in here, I just want to say hello from Gutenberg. So I am going to save this. Let's get back in here, delete this one, update, refresh one time and add the block, test block. This is our test block. I am going to remove all of this. And now we have the title right over here. Hello from Gutenberg. If I update this, I can view the post and the post is 
not the way that we want because why because the save method is totally different so if we are going to show this i should copy this one and paste it right over here remove all of this for now because we don't need it right now and simplify everything Control s i'm sorry command s and let's get back in here just one more update refresh and update and get back here and now we have the same method for save and for editing okay so now let's get started and see what's going on with attributes all right if you guys can see i already added two attributes one of them is content and one of, one of them is color so let's delete these two and maybe just the color and change the content to for example title and the default should be this hello world is okay and type should be a string by the way guys if you want to learn about attributes you can go to uh, block Gutenberg handbook and in here you should see block attributes and you can see anything you want and pretty much not everything but they explained at least a couple of things so let's get here block attribute documentation and yeah this documentation seems pretty much yeah I just looked for this and you can see we can uh, pick any type we want for example we can pick null boolean object array string integer or number that's the same as integer all right so let's get back here we already have one attribute I told you before this attribute is kind of our state management all right so if I save this and go to edit and in here I can have access with props and if I go here and console log console dot log my props and I am going to save this getting back to our editor now in aspect element and let's check what's going on into our console so as you can see guys we have an object all right and we have the attribute object I not sure if you can see this properly you can see we have attributes which has a class name the class name is passed like this we are going to talk about this class name later but we are going to talk about attributes which we pass title and you can see this is the default value that we added right over here you see hello world okay so we have this attribute so we can use it in our code right so let's get back here and just pass this here so we should pass props dot attributes a chain of data and after that we should say dot title right so I should pass this into this all right so now if we go back here and refresh the page we should see this hello world all right guys now that you learn about attributes we can add any attributes that we want okay so in here i can add title content description images uh, as you can see we can add any type of uh, value that we want for example if you want a number if you want an array but uh, right now you should consider attributes as a, as a way that we use a state in react okay so i can pass this attributes like this i am going to 
the structure these props and say attributes right over here and also we have a method named set attribute and this is exactly right uh, like react uh, uh, use react statement okay so let's get back here where was i yeah you can see attributes and set attributes i can copy this and paste it in here i also can show you guys into the console if we can check again yeah we have attributes and we have set attribute which is a function and we can use this to change our state so in here i have this one and this one set attribute but we are going to use this where I am going to tell you in the next video but let's move on to our save method as well and pass just this attribute we don't have to we can't use set attribute into our save method I am going to talk about that in the, in the future but in here if I say attribute I can use it here attributes like this attributes dot title okay and here as well so i'm going to delete this one Control s and also Control s here let's refresh the page and see this is working fine and here this is working fine as well also let's say we want to pass except title we want to pass a description so i am going to copy this one add a, a comma and here i am going to say this should be this should have a name of description by the way guys you can name this anything you want okay so the type should be a string and the default value should be this is a description this grip and save let's get back here and we didn't use this so if I want to uh, use this I can go here for example into our div I can say h2 for example I should open a tag h2 and paste it right over here and make a copy of this paste it right below change the tag to p and in here i can say description i can copy this and paste it right over here Control s or command s and also i can copy this and paste it here okay so let's refresh the page and see all right guys now if you can see i let's delete this default title i have a title and i have a description if i save this i can see i have a title and a description but what will happen if i have for example 10 attributes 12 attributes more than 15 attributes sometimes we can't pass and uh, attributes like this attributes dot title attributes uh, dot description we can destructure again so let's see what we can do i can say const this should be equals to attributes and i can pass title into this i i'm destructuring title and description from attributes so in here i do not need to add attributes at the beginning of this anymore so i can copy this one and move on here and paste it right over here so if i get back here i should get the same results no difference here as well same results now how can we change this state change these attributes so we will see that on the next video